Good day, Dave the Enlightened Plumber here with today's quote, which is, the top of one mountain is the bottom of another. The top of one mountain is the bottom of another. This is from Marianne Williamson, and let's get in. Well, we're certainly on a mountain theme at the moment, and the idea is, is that when we get to the top of a mountain, so in this case, I'm taking it that this is a literal physical mountain as well as a spiritual or challenge goal this is kind of what the reference is to a mountain here. So let's start with the physical mountain. Uh, in most cases, when I climb a mountain or when I have climbed a mountain or a hill of some description, I kind of do this and I get up and I go, yeah, great, I'm at the top. And then I realize, well, now that I'm here, if I go back down a little bit and then I can go back up, there's actually a bigger mountain next to it. So the, so the first little hill here is, it's a mountain in its own right, but when I get to it, it's like, well, great. But look, I can go further now. And the thing is, is that while I'm here on the top of this one, the top of this one doesn't now seem so far to me. And what I look at is, well, if it's a physical mountain that I'm hiking or climbing on, then do I have time to go up that way either in number of days or physical time before it gets dark or whatever it may be? Do I have what it takes for me to get up there uh, as well as uh, an interest or even a desire? So there's a few factors that go there, which ultimately fit into the goal mountain. So with a goal mountain, uh, whether it's a dream, desire, that kind of thing, the mountain is whatever we want it to have. And so there's an old phrase or saying that was, uh, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Well, and that's sort of the opposite of this in the case that a molehill is a trouble that in my head I'm blowing out of proportion to create this big, huge mountain. Well, in reality, I have uh, my guest here with me, uh, if we take the physical mountain as being a challenge or a goal, well, it doesn't have to be huge or that small mountain is just enough to say, okay, I'm gonna get to this plateau. I am gonna hit that peak of this small mountain. But now that I've hit it, oh, wow, the power that that will give me to propel me and say, hey, I can definitely get to the next mountain now, do that next challenge. So in a realm that, that I would understand, if I was to say, I'm gonna to go to the gym and I'm gonna start running with my goal, my small challenge, my small mountain to be that I am going to run a, a 5K or five mile run. Great, well, I train for a little while, I go, I do my five mile run and I go, great, that's awesome. I've just proved to myself that I am awesome. I can do a five mile run. Well, hmm, I've met some people now and they're gonna do the 10 mile or the 10K. Yeah, I think I can do that too. So now I keep on training, I keep going to the gym and then I will do the 10K. And then after that, it becomes the half marathon and then the full marathon and whatever that may be. But the idea is that as I hit the one peak, that small mountain, that five mile, 5K goal, that little peak of a mountain now leads me to the 10, to the, to the 15, the 20, 26, whatever it is that I want to do, the Iron Man challenge, right? Whatever it wants to be, these are the bigger mountains but they all start from the small one. So with that, the top of a mountain, I've actually forgotten my words, but basically the idea is if I hit the bottom of a mountain, the, 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 the top of a small mountain is the base of a bigger mountain still. And that's from Marianne Williamson and myself, Dave the Enlightened Plumber. With that, have an awesome day. Look at your challenges and see how they've made you feel. Look at past challenges and say, okay, well, I did that. How did it make me feel at that point in time? What do I feel now that I can do because I hit that small mountain, that small challenge? Take care. See you on the next one.